hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to continue with the uh, birthday uh people <laughs> that are reading for the idols that are very soon um about to have their birthdays uh so this is aquarius season um and i'm going to be focusing on reading doing like a very brief reading general reading for what they have available so today is going to be for icons uh, channel um, so I'm going to read for him to see what he has available for the next month so let's see what the cards have to say um, I believe he is the magnet of icon I have read for him and uh, in the past i believe i've done individual readings for him so they would this would be like the second time um yeah so let's do it um the third cards that he got it's um the sun card in reverse the magician in reverse the two of wands the five of pentacles in reverse the four of cups in reverse and then from the oracle of the seven energies he got the card into me i see so definitely like starting um this reading um i'm actually pretty impressed of how how many cards came out uh, in reverse i mean this is not shocking it happens it happens to people um but uh some cards actually when they are reversed um they are pretty positive actually um so it is not that it has like a negative uh connotation when you get reverse cards it just means that the, probably their influence or what they are aiming to or what they are representing it's a bit black so uh, starting the reading with the sun card and the magician that these are major arcana cards so their message it's pretty much deeper than the rest ones than the, ma the, the, the minor arcana um definitely showing me that he had been struggling with finding um a sense of enjoyment and, and having fun doing what he does i don't know if um because like i mentioned i know that he is the magnet but i don't know if maybe he's he had been in the industry since he was like very young or that he, his experience um like he he got into this industry like very young so it seems like he missed a lot of opportunities to be a child you know there's something about this about him being really or at least trying to be very serious very focused very responsible you know there's something about him being not being able to connect with his inner child you know being being like like everyone cheering for him you know and being like okay you are the youngest here you can be goofy or you can um have fun you can laugh you can uh, make mistakes you know like everyone like like allowing him and enabling him to be um goofy but actually him being like no i have to concentrate i have to get things done i have to be good at what i do you know him being really like harsh on himself a bit and i believe that his astrological energy if i'm not mistaken is that his sun is in aquarius but his moon is in um capricorn i believe and actually he's not the only one because i know that jay also is an aquarius with the moon in capricorn so but they are very different there's something about chance energy that it seems like he takes life pretty seriously but at the same time here also with the magician in reverse there's a feeling of him actually feeling powerless over 
his career or over his life um i don't know if maybe he he has a lot of people telling him what to do or making important decisions for him but it seems like this year he's going to be feeling a bit uncomfortable about this and actually him like realizing he needs a change or like starting to rebel a bit you know in order to get his uh power back his um autonomy back but there's something about him actually not being satisfied with how things are developing or not developing i don't know um what activities the group is doing or if they have um things or plans that they want to follow but it seems like he will be in this very rebellious phase you know where i don't think he is going to be this kind of person that he's going to be loud or annoying you know i think that he's that kind of person that he can be very silent but very stubborn so he can show resistance that way you know he will not fight you but he will oppose you you know if you are like oh okay we need to do this he will be like mm, i don't think so i'm not going to do it and i don't it doesn't matter how much you try to talk to him out of it you are not going to get a different response so you know there's something about him so i don't know if maybe i think he could potentially have like experienced some kind of rejection probably in the past year probably him wanting to do something different or him wanting to do something for himself and him actually receiving a no for an answer and and him being really angry because of that you know like it's like it seems like he is in a very bad mood you know because um he's starting to be more ambitious um i think that he's not really satisfied with how the things for the group are being handled and probably like not being handled at all probably they feel or at least he feels like the group is not getting much opportunities or that pre people are not working for them you know like promoting them like they are somehow forgotten um so there's a lot of frustration you know so i think that um he feels stuck you know and then in the middle of the reading we have the two of ones so definitely the two of ones it's about thinking about your future and, and it's also about looking at the horizon you know like okay i'm in this situation i'm annoyed i'm i'm, I'm not satisfied um i'm realizing a lot of things about myself and about my lifestyle that i do not want to do the same anymore it seems like he wants a change but he needs to plan that change you know he needs to come up with ideas or with um new ways to get out of this feeling of being stuck and and i think that this year is going to be very <coughs> very um good and very um it's going to um allow him to to connect with okay like if you want something but what do you want you know like don't organize your thoughts you know come up with a plan don't choose like um be all negative and not actually finding a solution you know i think that he had been like this for a while um and, and i think that he's slowly realizing that this attitude of being upset 
or of not being happy with his circumstances um like being like this sort of like moody child is not going to get him anywhere actually so i think that he's going to start to realize that he needs to change his attitude and that he needs to start like appreciating more what he has and of course that there's a feeling of a stagnation in his plans there's a feeling of oh what i want to do is not possible right now so i'm feeling really nervous like i don't like this i don't want to be here um so <clears throat> but then you know we have the five of pentacles and the four of cups in reverse and these last two cards are very beneficial when they are in reverse because actually when they are uh, upwards um they are a bit um challenging you know um in this case since they are in reverse they they mean that um he's slowly setting himself free from this in the future um first he's going to get out of this um feeling of not being good enough you know f feeling like he has no resources and no one pays attention to what he wants like him feeling like he has no uh, opportunities uh, i think he will slowly like get out of that negative thinking you know um and and he also as he starts to open his vision and, and looking at the horizon and thinking about solutions and about coming up with solutions and new ideas, he will also unlock the possibilities of him getting out of these moments of apathy. So definitely, like... <clears throat> I'm not saying that he had been lazy in the past, but it seemed like he had been in this, in the past, he had been in this sort of um, attitude of like being, you know, like, like this, this person in the Four of Cups cards, you know, that it shows a person like being sitting with, with their arms crossed in front of, of their chest and being like in this very like a stubborn uh, kind of posture you know like being like oh I don't want that I don't want what you're offering me what you're offering me is not good enough I don't want it I don't want anything that you offer me so I think that in the past he had been like very on the defensive you know like oh i don't like my life or i don't like where things are going i'm not satisfied you know and and, and being a bit childish honestly and actually like being very like not satisfied with how the, his career is going but not doing anything to change his circumstances you know and i think that now that at the end of the reading we have these four of ones in reverse it means that he's slowly he's going to slowly come to the realization that if he opposes to change and he just sits there stubbornly like talking about the things he doesn't want he's not going to change his circumstances that actually he needs to come out with a solution you know, and this he has to do by himself and for himself. Like, okay, you are not getting the opportunity you want. Okay, what do you want to do? Is there something else you want to do, something new? Try a new activity, meeting new people, you know, like building connections with other people. Like, I think that if he just keep sitting around waiting for someone to fix his insatisfaction you know and, and being like okay i'm here to offer you ways of feeling better you know 
I think he's going to be moody for a while. You know, I feel like he definitely needs to activate his um his own independency. You know, there's something about this is why I think that he is very young still. There's something about probably that well he is an Aquarius, you know, an Aquarius energy always works um or their purpose or their development as individuals it has actually a lot to do with the group so probably his whole identity is tied to the group so if the group doesn't have like uh an a stable um like um a stable path or movement you know if if the group is not being active or doesn't have much activities he feels like he's losing his own purpose as a person you know because his his identity or his sense of self is tied to the group's um achievements so i think that now what he's going to learn this year is that if he wants something different for himself, he has to be able to go and get it for himself and by himself. You know, because the group is going to have their advances and probably their opportunity to to have uh, probably a comeback or something new, but it's going to take a while. It's not going to happen right now. And actually what he needs or at least what it seems that he wants is something new to happen right now and and I don't think that if he's expecting this for the group he's not going to get it so he needs to have a different option you know um but it's really positive actually the way uh, the reading ends because suddenly all this moodiness all these or resistance to change or all this resistance to to you know to what he had available for himself is that he will slowly start to be more understanding you know that if things don't don't happen the way he wants to it's not because um there's people against him or against him being happy it's just that uh, there are a lot of factors affecting um, the group's uh, activities and one of them is the company the people that runs them actually that are very lazy and that they are also very you know they have their groups there on on pause you know like like I think that if you if you hear from the members is because they have their YouTube channels or they do communicate to the fans individually and they try to you know to communicate with the fans to let them know that they are still going that they are well but the, when it comes to creation there's a sense of that that the company is not doing much for them but I think that he will definitely get that satisfaction once he starts to focus on what he can do for himself. Because he right now he needs to think like individually. You know, what do you want to do? Okay, like focus on that. Focus on things that you can do on your own. And and like don't have expectations of others joining you because you know it's 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 not it's not going to be easy is you you will have to search for this satisfaction on your own for now at least for now um and then the card from the oracle of the seven chakras we have the cards of into me i see so you know um the, this card it's very meaningful because it has uh the 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 the, the word uh, uh 
in the, in the pronunciation of the I, I, me, I, me, you know, it's all about going back to you, like what you are looking for is inside of you, you just have to have the courage to be like, okay, I want something different, I want something different for myself, I have to go get it. The group is not going to follow me or or like being around me so or, or move things for me so I can find it. No. This is about him connecting with his individuality, with his identity. You know, that um unfortunately I mean it's not the word is not unfortunately, but what's happening is that the members, each one of them, are going through personal circumstances. You know, probably, I don't know, Bobby, he's having his um, his uh, uh, his own family, his own responsibility. Then the other members, they can have their own personal uh, things as well. So probably he does feel like, oh, everyone is busy and I cannot, uh, I cannot, contact anyone to join me to do this that I want to do and actually this is a calling for him to connect with his individual individuality you know in the sense that okay you know what is joining me great I'm going to do it on my own and probably it has to do that he is a pretty reserved and shy person so this is why he needs the support of others and he needs the others to join him but I think that once he takes the first step, he's going to be all right. It's just that it's, it, it's these circumstances of him being actually very fed up, you know, with waiting. I think it's going to inspire him to be like, okay, if no one's coming, you have to do it by yourself. And he will be like, okay, I will do it. And once he starts doing it, he will find that satisfaction he will connect with that side of it oh wow i'm doing things for me like i'm not going to sit around waiting anymore for people to give me opportunities you know if they come i will be available but meanwhile i'm going to do something different for myself so it's going to be a great experience for him actually so it's it's very Oh, it's very lovely and also this card into me I see it's, it's a beautiful message because it means that inside of him he has the resources to turn into reality the objectives or the goals that he has for himself that there's no need to look for other people's validation or support or company he actually has by himself in himself he has a lot of attributes, positive attributes, that can benefit him, you know, to do uh, new activities, to meet new people. You know, he probably thinks of himself like being a bit, like, not social. Or that he is not good at, I don't know, at, at meeting new people or being in different places. But actually he is. It's just that he never... Um, um gave his, himself the opportunity because he had always been surrounded by others so this is great actually he's going to adapt really well and he's going to get very proud of himself as well for like destroying these perceptions old perceptions that he has of himself you know that like like him say that oh i oh i i cannot do this because i'm this way no actually these are only preconceptions these are old perceptions that you had maybe in the past you were like this but now life is pushing you to open up a bit more and and show yourself and yes it's going to be awkward at first but it's going to be worth it it's part of growing so yes guys, this is all I have for Chan, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.